Oh, banter! Hello, guys, welcome back to Super Mario 3D World. We are here in a big, huge thing. Banter! <laughs> it is weird who, who that person is. In, in one of the Smash episodes, like a couple of weeks back, you would have seen or heard the music for this. Hang on to press the end head for go. I like, like the first time you do certain things, it does give you messages. Control your message with the pad. Jump with B or two, depending on which remote you got. That tail switch is a bit annoying though. When look at this, go as fast as you can. Power. Sometimes when there's lots of turning involved, you will need to slow down. So be careful of that. Nice. You have to jump off that ramp to get that star. You might not even be able to see it necessarily, so be careful of it. I'm going very slowly. I missed it. <laughs> that was a pathetic effort. Mind you, I'm not quite great at steering Plessy around. Because normally, hopefully, we're just going straight lines. Jump, 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 jump. It looks like he's going under the water. Oh, that's just a one of I was to say, jumping for a star, it's not there. I'm going to get the difficult thing first. Normally, I go left first, because that's where a star is. But unfortunately, they don't make it possible to get both. It always makes you do it twice, which is so annoying. But I've, d I've messed this up before, so I've got to get it right. Nice. I messed it up about four times in a row once. I, I couldn't believe it. But I have not messed it up. Hey, I didn't die in the first episode. How times have changed since Mario Bros. U and Luigi U. Yeah. The only reason I died there was because I died in the first freaking second. Nearly didn't make that. You have to get a good jump in. Avoid hitting them because it slows your momentum down. As you can see, I've missed a coin. If you're watching this now for the first time, don't be alarmed. The level makes you do it twice. Which is annoying, but... YOLO, whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's been, I think, both times, because they did a replay. Because their first 3D World playlist was, uh, LP was, it wasn't actually that great. Admittedly, the audio problems and copyright claims didn't help. One video was taken down, in fact. But the first world was their most popular video, 14 million? How? That wasn't that good. <laughs> there are some more deserving than that to get, have the most views, but... Yeah, but, so they had to do it twice, there were no problems, and they split it into two worlds, two episodes per world, rather than just one. Because it took like an hour for like one. And Spence jumped over the goal both times. Anyway, we'll see you guys back in there. We'll show you which character I'd choose, actually. I'll choose random, because it doesn't matter. It's Peach! We'll see you guys back there. First cut since my bros you. It's... Well, Drugger says it's more realistic water than Mercury. You can't have more realistic than water because it's water is real. <laughs> but it does look amazing. I will, I will grant that. Uh, yes, got a life. That's difficult to do, but when the star music disappears, you still have the star for like two, three more seconds. So keep going. Unless you've got the star, by which case you can just stop, because otherwise you might not make it. Oops. Perception, because I'm behind the pipe. I'm right at the back of the screen. Yeah, of course, Peach is a lot slower. Um, it didn't let me jump, but because I had the cat sit, it's fine. Game, don't troll me in World 1. Or at all, at all. I meant at all. Don't listen to that first bit game. <laughs> don't troll me. At all. Banter. Anyways, we're going to go back tomorrow. Oh, there's a circuit. I will show you that. I'll get as many lives as I can because lives are not so easy to come by and you can have more lives. Because this game is a bit tricky. <laughs> and I'm good at doing this timing as well, so... Maybe not now. I'm good at that. I'm just good at like sort of a rhythm, sort of getting something like constantly in time, like duh, 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 duh. It's just like 
sticking to a rhythm. That's like the one musical thing I can probably do. Maybe that's why I enjoy some of the music I, I enjoy, I don't know. Anyway, that's how you do that, just... It, you can tie it, that's all I'm saying. It's not like completely random like it can be. Wait, why am I going over there? That's why. There's a hidden mushroom house. It's, it's basically like all the other ones. You basically in here either get one mushroom or four different items. In the first two worlds, it's not quite like that. Yeah, you only get two mushrooms, a fire flower, and a cat suit, but from like world three onwards, you do get more than that. I assume you can't go in there now. <laughs> it does save after everything you do, so that's useful. <laughs> like she's trying to get back in there. Anyway, new level! And is it? Let, let, let's see you guys back there, but there's no point in that. So you press B to, in on the gamepad to change your uh, character. I think one on the Wii Remote, I'm pretty sure. Because I, I used to use these with a Wii Remote. And then I've switched to the gamepad for everything, like Mario Kart and, my, and this. It's only while recording. Just make it interesting. Beads are annoying, but in the, this level it's pretty comfortable. I don't know if you can really time that. I don't like the fire flower. It looks exactly the same. I will give you that nice consistency level there. <laughs> Banter. Consistency is the main problem, but they managed to keep the fire flower the same. Not exactly what I meant by consistency. I meant the game. Totally cool though. Uh oh. I like how there's lots of repetition in this game. Like this. Like some levels are repeated for mostly and just made slightly harder. You may think it's, oh, it's run out of ideas, but it's just keeping some good ideas that they've already have. And with 3D World, you have more options to really change the game and create more different levels and ideas. Oh, that was close. I could have got hit there. But you have to make sure all of them are yellow. But if you land on them again, they turn back to blue again. So it's not like they're permanently there. If you land on them again, you have to do it again. Nice. Yeah, you have to, with a cat suit and the fire fireballs, it's the left side. It's normally at the back for future reference, but... Yeah, just always be very careful with that. Just make sure you have something. Go to the ones at the back, because they're the ones that are going to have it. Oh yeah, there's 10 second timers and 100 second timers in this game. Okay, I wasn't sure if I needed to jump there, and I was being very careful due to perception, that's why I was being quiet, because I didn't want to fall off somehow for that. Oh, I on the stamp stairs. I was about to say I forgot the stamp. No, I have not, actually. Banter! I, I, knew, I knew it was there. Good, good, obviously. Banter! Got everything! I like how this... Sort of like, it end, ends as soon as you touch the flag. It doesn't like halt the tune in the middle, it just ends it. Uh, 54,000. And of course, all the stamps. There are 85 of them, I think. Yeah, yeah I think there are 85 here. Yeah. Uh, of course, that did nothing, but I need, I'm completing the whole game, so what do you do? Yeah. Other reason I use the game, I need to use the game bag for this anyway, so... This is a whole new game on its own. A, a year after this was first released, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker was released as a prequel. Again, I have no idea why prequels um, come out after their sequel, that's just weird. He's ready for adventure! Help him collect all five, yes, five, of the stars and you get to keep them! With the camera or tilt. See, I'm tilting right now tilting the gamepad, but there are easier ways of doing it, by tilting, yes. And he can't jump, so better I might, or he can actually, I'm pressing the jump button. Yeah, he makes some weird noises. Yeah, I have a right stick for that. And because I have the gamepad, there's no Wii remote used for this. Just make sure you have a nice high view, I think, for this. That's always important. You can dash. You can go somewhat quicker than that. Mm. 
Nice. I was about to say, I wanted a nice straight view so I can see what's going on there. Nice. Nice, managed to avoid. Okay, I've got a blow. <laughs> I'm trying to do some really annoying ones later in the game. Oh no, I got hit. No, no, I fell down. Oh. Now I have to do the whole thing again. Okay, I can't get hit. I don't want to die in World 1, even if it is Captain Jack. I don't ever die here. That's like, that would be a first time ever. Don't worry, I'll blow again. Just wait for them to get out of the way. Inching my way forwards. Yeah, I got it. It's a bit of a nervous moment. I don't know how I clipped him, but... Whatever, this game is random. <laughs> Every game I play is random because I don't know what sort of luck I'm going to get. 34,000. Now he runs around again. I got five, so it's 21. One for the mini bosses, five for Captain Toad. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. I need 10 star coins. It doesn't reduce your star coin count, by the way. You still get to keep all 21 of them, but... It's just saying you need that many to get through the game. Which is interesting. If you want to do a star, uh, a speed run, you still need 10, 10, 10 green stars, so... That's scary. <laughs> Banter. It's good music, though. I will give you that, though. Give you that. You're, you're not the one that made the game. Yep, those produce green stars. It gives you eight green coins, which you have to get very quickly to get the green star from it. That was close. It nearly moved underneath me. Oh, you have to deflect at an angle here. I thought I was going to get hit by something there, but I survived both hits. That was pretty cool. Nice. See, if it has that symbol, it means you need a cap for it. You could get those items or coins or whatever, but it's just to get that star. No, I don't want to get up there again. I've got the stamp, so all I need... It's a very short level if you're brilliant at it. Like, I can probably spend it less than a minute in the level, pretty much. It takes just a minute to get through everything. Oh, you can't touch those. It has to be when they look like a sucker ball, but when they're, once they've turned red, you can't touch them. And of course, there's a fight at the end. This is Bowser every time, yeah! <laughs> but you won't expect that honk, honk. <laughs> I like how he's able to drive the car, but he's facing the back of the car. There's no roof. What sort of car is that? Oh, if you try and go as quickly as possible, he still stays the same distance away from you. Try If you hit Bowser himself, you only need three hits, but you need to hit the car three times for each one. Yeah, I hit the car three times, that's one out of three hits. You can hit Bowser three times, or the car nine times. Basically showing how the game works. Uh, I still can't do it right. I have to let it bounce a little more. Uh-oh. What's this problem? No. No. Can't get any height. I can crouch down. No! That was rubbish. Don't know why I decided to do that right there. What's this fireball so accurate? Now, I, was I saw the fireball, tried to steer away from it as quickly as I could do. Of course it repeats. Realistically, how's that possible? And it is something different too. Uh oh, okay. I want, the I want to be able to hit Bowser, but I can't get the height on it. Uh, good job it doesn't matter. Yay, got... Got that. Try and move. But I missed out on the soccer balls because I was busy getting it. 
Yes, that actually hit the front of the car. That's like amazing, amazingly rare that I managed to get so much height it went over everything. <laughs> it's just water, but whatever. How has he flown that far? It must be as light as a feather or something. And that's a new thing in the levels. When when you defeat the boss, it's not the end of the level. You still have to complete it. You do get a hundred seconds reward. So if you're running out of time, you do have that there. And there is the Sprixie ready to be rescued. It's because you need like the flags. You need to get the top of every flag. You need flags there. So there are those mini bosses that have no flag on them. No. Okay, that's more than enough. Plus, why did I not get the direction right? I always press horizontal, dead horizontal. Do, 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 do. I like that tune a little bit. <laughs> 17 minutes when people become 16 and a half, probably. That's yeah, fine. <laughs> Unnecessary half an hour because half a minute because I was silent, so that definitely needs to be cut. Nice. 24 green stars in the one episode. Only one world, obviously. I knew I'd already split it, Banter. Yeah. Yay, I can go for a pipe. Why can't you make more than that? Is that really all you can do? Anyway, we'll show you what this world is. And it's a desert world. Once again, Joe Carver, I've mentioned him a few times. He talks about how the worlds are not themed. To be honest, they're not really, are they? But it doesn't matter. It just would be a nice thing. I will get this Sprixie house. I'll show you what it gives you just before the end of this episode. It gives you a stamp. Once you get, once you get it and go out the door, it goes further. In case you don't need it anymore. I like how it disappears in, under the ground. It's like still probably still there, you just can't get there. See, it's right there, go after it. Go after it, Mario. Uh, you can actually jump over, actually. <laughs> Banter! <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you guys on the next one when we tackle World 2. But with which character? Watching that episode to find out. Lol banter.